Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Charlie's Woodworks. Today, we're going to be doing an update on Phil's shoe rack. I'll walk around it so you can kind of see it a little bit. Here you have the box joint, nice and strong. And then again on the bottom. You notice I've got corner supports using the French cleat system. Right now these are just screwed in. They're not actually glued yet. Here you see that this board has been connected to this board. Uh, there's glue and then of course the screws. I ran three screws in each one. Each one of these corner brackets, there'll be one pocket screw going through the side here, so not to interfere with the joinery. And then here, you've got two pocket screws going in here. Again, not to mess with the joinery. Taking and looking at it from the back side, because of lighting, I can get a better shot. So, I don't know if you can see the profile or not, but here's what we did to the edge. That's a uh, quarter inch round over, slightly down, using the, uh, the half lap joint to join them together. Now, these are not yet complete. There's going to be uh, slats that are going to be put in. And as you can see, there's uh, one of the layout lines on, of course, the top shelf. I have some boards already cut that I'm going to use for slats. But let's talk about spacing for a moment. You see, I've got clamps up here. So... Down here, we're going to have three quarters of an inch of a gap coming off the, off the bottom here. I'm going to make some cleats that is going to go here, here, and here. That's going to ride on both the top and the bottom. They're going to be like these. They're going to be a quarter of an inch thick, but they'll probably be about an inch and three-eighths long kind of like the same size as these that are sitting in there now. So it'll probably be about the same size as that. There'll be an eighth inch gap on each side of the sliding shelf. The cleats will allow for it to slide back and forth. And also <clears throat> coming to it from the side. So for this shelf here, there's going to be a cleat that's going to be on the on the bottom and on the top. Then I also want to take and run a board from there to there, running it flush. And that's going to tie in. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it just yet. Um, I might actually make a dado for it to sit into. Not sure yet. But that will um, give this whole side structure a little bit more stability, especially for here and here. Because as you notice here on the on that one, if you can see it, there we go. Um, there's there's that board behind it already that gives it the support. But I also need to do the same for both sides back here and here. It's got to run across here. That'll give it support and keep it from sagging because this thing is going to be heavy and there's going to be six pair of shoes. Here, as you can see, I already have some boards already ready to go. And then they're going to sit on here like so. 
but I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut them in half so each one of these single boards will then produce two. Now the nice thing about that is uh, what's called a book match. So they'll be book matched in some places. But according to the layout, you see the line there. Okay, so here's the layout line. And this is actually going to get cut. So it's going to be probably about that deep or that deep. However thick the board is, that's how deep this is going to be so that this sits flush with this. Although it's not going to be this full thickness. Again, once again, I'm going to take it, I'm going to cut that right in half. Right now we're looking at an inch and a sixteenth. And then, of course, you got to subtract an eighth of an inch for the blade. And then whatever's left over after you get done sanding. And those are going to sit in that uh, rabbit there. There's going to be a rabbit on this side and a rabbit on that side. Now, if you're not familiar with what a rabbit is, a rabbit is nothing more than basically a shelf. So here, it's going to go down and then over so that this board can sit into it. Kind of like... Ah, here we go. Kind of like here where this this is actually a half lap but if this board extended out and this was a part of something else this portion here would be the rabbit and that's what we're going to do here it's going to be kind of like an L that way when I cut this in half uh, whatever that thickness is will be how deep that is so that the top of this board and the top of this board sits flush. And so far, that's where we're at with that project. The interesting thing now, if you, I hope you're following along, the interesting thing is that I'm going to use uh, both the Shusuki Bond and the uh, Fractal Burn to, um, that's going to be part of the finishing touch and if you saw the previous video of the way the uh, cedar chest for David turned out well that's kind of what I'm expecting here well until the next update I hope you uh, like what you saw and you'll continue to watch thank you and have a wonderful time please remember hit the like and subscribe button thank you